What's up everybody and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to do a little bit of Q&A about Kevin Lebroni's video that he filmed with me this weekend. And I'm explaining to you guys a little bit about minerals because I'm getting some questions about minerals and why I think they're important, etc. And I just want to start off with talking about the once a month Q&A, which the live Q&A for like, you know, a Sunday afternoon for like an hour. We'll set up a time and I'm thinking like Twitter would be the place that we could do it because it'll be live and most people have a Twitter account. Now, if there's some other thing like a certain chat thing or whatever, like that you guys know of, the problem is they just want everybody to be available, <clears throat> excuse me, to be on it. And most people have Twitter accounts, so they could, you know, they can at least watch it without having to subscribe to some chat room or something like that. Um, second thing, the BioSTRI Battalion t shirts. Yes, the t shirts you guys are asking for them. I like the name, I dig it. It's very cool that you guys came up with it. I'm trying to figure out like an army color t-shirt, like army green with black letters, or a gray like PT, like the military physical training uniforms that they wear in basic training, or a boot camp, something like that. I'm trying to figure out which ones would look cooler. So, or like we got a navy blue here with a gray stripe on uh, Joey Glor's t-shirts here. I mean, it's all different combinations. You guys let me know what you think, because, uh, you know, everybody's got a different opinion. But I'm thinking the green with the black, which is very military looking. We'll see what you guys think. Um... First thing I want to talk about mineral-wise is why minerals? Well, minerals are important because they allow your body to function at 100% where without them you can't. And that's just a fact. You need to be completely nourished, vitamin and mineral-wise, or the micronutrients, for your body to function at 100%. These are very often overlooked because we're so wrapped up in creatine and this one and protein powders and all that stuff that you forget the basic foundation that if your body's not pr working properly, then it's not even going to process those other supplements that you want 100%. So why wouldn't you want to start at the base and make sure that you get everything out of what you need? Or you get everything you need out of what you're taking. Dead doctors don't lie. Okay, this book, let me back up. I got a cassette tape. Yeah, cassette tape, all right. Back in the mid-90s, and it was said, dead doctors don't lie. I don't even remember how I got it. I signed up for something, they sent it to me. So I put this thing in the stereo, I listened to it. And basically this doctor who also went on to become veterinarian medicine learned real quick that through human medicine what we were doing was we were treating symptoms but not curing the things that we needed to really cure. And we were doing that with expensive drugs. Well, in the veterinarian field they didn't have the money for those expensive drugs. So what they would do is find a way to cure things through nutritional means with the animals. So this guy figured, well... If we can do that with animals, why can't we do that with some of the things in humans? So that's where he started to cross over and figure out these things that, you know, would help humans nutrition-wise that will help with a lot of ailments that they can, you know, are just being treated for and they're not being cured. And he realized one was mineral loss. Mineral loss caused all these health issues. And it was just responsible for putting, it was just a basic thing of putting the minerals back in your body to make sure you didn't have these deficiencies and they're all in the book. I suggest you guys get the book, um, Dead Doctors Don't Lie. It's amazing the stuff you're going to read in there. So the brand that Carrie and I use, because I'm getting questions about it, is this one. You can get it at Vitamin Shop. On the back you can see all the minerals, etc. There's 70 organic naturally occurring polycolloidal major and trace minerals. Okay, And these come from prehistoric plant life from over 5,000 years ago. What does that mean? It means it's expensive minerals. But... It's supposed to be a lot more usable by the body than a regular tablet or something that you would take. And being a liquid form, I personally like taking things in liquid form because it, I feel like it processes faster and better by the body. It doesn't mean it's utilized better because it's still going to be utilized the same way as another mineral, but it doesn't have to be broken down from a tablet form, a solid form, into a liquid before it's digested. It's already broken down. One or two ounces after my workout or one or two ounces before bed, whichever one you know I remember to take. And... That's, it's that simple to try to keep yourself healthy and make sure that you're getting the most out of your gym and you're getting your goals. I mean, if you're not nourished, you're not going to get your goals. Super important little thing, but one of those overlooked things. Now, some of the comments we get about Lavroni. It's mostly positive comments, and that's cool. You know, Kevin definitely didn't have to do what he does, but he'll usually shoot a video or talk in depth for whatever if I ask him to do it, he's a friend of mine, he's a good friend, and we started shooting these videos back in 2009 because I had heard rumors about different things and I wanted to know for a fact. And what we do is I don't tell him what we're going to talk about. He knows I'm never going to put him on the spot and say, what was your stack like for the Mr. Olympia? He knows I'm not going to do that. So what we do is, literally, Carrie turned on the camera, we talked, 
And that's what came out of it. And I didn't tell him what to say. I didn't ask him. I said, we got a few questions for you. Let's put him on the thing, put them up on BIOS 3. Now, some of you comment on how small he is. First of all, no, he doesn't take drugs. Second of all, no, none of you have ever said that I was small. You may have called me fat, said my head looks like a testicle, how ugly, I look like Ryback, all this shit, but nobody's ever said I'm small. And you guys saw him. He's like my size, about 230, okay? Now, did you guys also know, well, you didn't know this, that he only eats like once a day? He eats once a day to keep his body weight down, or else he grows. If he eats three meals a day of chicken and rice or chicken and potatoes, he gets physically bigger, and he stays about 8% body fat. He doesn't get any fatter. And on top of that, he doesn't go to the gym right now. He's keeping himself toned down. He has two movies that he's working on. And those require him to be smaller and not carry the body weight, which he doesn't like to carry to begin with. It's uncomfortable. When you ask Cutler, what do you like better, 300 or 260? He says 260. Uncomfortable to be that heavy. So although you guys want to see the big mass sponsor say, well, he lost all this muscle, there's a reason why he's that small. And another thing you guys don't get about the genetics. If Kevin has 5 billion muscle fibers, okay, and I have 1 billion, now the smaller he gets, the smaller those fibers get like he is now, what do you think happens when he inflates those muscle fibers by training and eating again? He gets bigger. So you think that, honestly, his 5 billion muscle fibers compared to my 1 billion, which is all genetic. You can't get away from that. It depends on how many muscle fibers you have and what types of muscle fibers you have. The white ones usually get bigger than the red ones. You think that that is going to have to do, I can out-train him to get bigger than him. I can eat more to get bigger than him. That doesn't happen. That is genetics. That's how it works. As the muscle fiber gets bigger, you know, 5 billion of them getting bigger instead of 1 billion. So those of you who think you can train through your genetics, not going to happen. You can build a better physique. You can build a great physique. Could you build a pro body builder physique without the genetics? No. Could you run like an uh, Olympic sprinter without the genetics? No. If you don't have the genetics of an Olympic sprinter, you are not going to be in the Olympic sprinting. That's how it is. And I think that a lot of you guys don't get it because you've never seen it. You've seen yourself make gains, but you know, we have one person that told me I went from 145 to 190. I'm sorry, but 190 is not huge. 190 is not pro level. 190 is not, I mean, unless you're super lean, that means you're coming down 25, 30 pounds to make a stage weight, puts you at about 170, 165 pounds. That's not huge and that's not huge gains, okay? Now, I could be wrong. You could be 2% body fat at 145 and 2% body fat at 190. And if that's what the case, great. But now talk to me when you get to 275, Talk to me when you get to 280 and talk to me when you get your body fat down to 3% like these guys do. And tell me it's not genetic because you're trying to tell me that you could out-train Kevin, out-diet him to overcome your genetics and be like him. Don't sing it, just bring it. If you can do it, do it. Prove it. Put up pictures. Put up videos. If you're talking about this, all this weight you gain, 145 to 190, put up pictures. Show us. I don't want to hear this bullshit about, oh, I did this, I did that. You know how many times I've heard, oh, I got a friend, I got a cousin, I got this, who, yeah, he's into bodybuilding, he's about your size. And then I see the person, I'm 240 and this guy's 160 pounds soaking wet. He's your size. The perception is not reality. Perception is your own reality and their own reality. But this 160 pound guy is not 230 pounds and we stand next to each other. There's a drastic difference. And then the people that were thinking we were the same size are like, whoa, they're not the same size. So without the pictures and the videos, it's just talk. And here's my thing. You can always find my stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, my blog. I'll prove everything that I'm saying as I train, as I train my people, to let you guys know it's not just bullshit out in the air. I will prove everything I say, and I swear to you guys, genetics are the biggest thing in pro bodybuilding. If you don't have them, you're not going to get there. Train all you want, etc. Another thing was the gear use. Yes, you can absolutely get hit with, hurt with gear use, because the stuff that they have nowadays is not what they have. Okay, they had pharma grade stuff back then. And on top of that, you guys that are young have a tendency to overdo stuff. If you go out drinking, you don't have a couple beers, you're blackout drunk. You know what I mean? You go drive, you don't drive 50, you drive 130 and get a speeding ticket. So if you're supposed to take two and a draw 50 a day, you take five. Over the course of, you know, you're supposed to like take it for six weeks or whatever. You're like, oh, I did six weeks, next time I'll do 10, next time I'll do 12. And you're going to wind up hurting yourself. And the problem is you're not seeing the results from taking the drugs. You keep upping them, upping them, upping them until you do hurt yourself. And this is part of the problem that Kevin's talking about, is that you can put something in your body today and pay for it down the line if you don't know what you're doing. But it's a personal decision, and it's on you. So if you wind up in the hospital, you only have you to blame because you're the one who took them and put them in your body. BioStreetTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. www.biostreetraining is the blog. Thanks, guys, and we're out.